This is a video to demonstrate one-click messages from an EMR toolbar and how you can even set these up yourself in your own EMR. So throughout our day-to-day -day practice, there are often times where we need to say relay a message to a patient. Or, um, so for example, let's say we got an ankle x-ray that was back that was normal and we needed to tell the staff to relay that information to the patient and to continue physio. So if we're in, a, this is a fake patient chart and we're in the chart and we you know, have to type control M. Then we have to type in the user initials who are, who are the recipient. And then tab through to the title. And then say, you know, ankle x-ray was normal. Continue, you know, uh, ice and physio as explained at visit. And then we send that message and then the staff get that message and relay it to the patient. But all those extra clicks of having to choose, say the title and choose the recipient, all add up, especially when you're sending, you know, hundreds of messages a day. So instead of that, you can create buttons on a toolbar that would just uh, send messages like that with one click. For example, this is uh, uh, just a sample toolbar I've made for the sake of this demonstration here. And this button says contact patient. So if I, instead of having to type that whole message out, I could just click this and it automatically has it pre-set up to go to my front desk account, my front staff account, with the title of the contact patient. And all I have to do is, is relay, you know, x-ray normal, uh, continue physio, enter. So that the same recipient, same title, everything was auto pre-populated. I just had to type in the quick little message of what I wanted relayed. And those clicks saved, uh, save a lot of time throughout the day. Similarly, uh, if I have to order, you know, a new chest x-ray or something, so I've just ordered a chest x-ray for a patient, I've had the requisition in the chart, and I need to send a message to my booker to fax that and to track it. So I have that all set up here with a button that says new requisition. And I just, again, pre-populates and I say chest x-ray. The, the recipient then gets that message and uh, can... Uh, are, um, deal with it and track it. Similarly, you might have uh, a button that says, you know, want to bill a fee for patients for like a sick note or a prescription renewal. So we might say, you know, bill, bill fee or a prescription renewal that you just did. Or maybe there's a sick note that you just did, that, you, that the staff need to bill that. So these are just quick little messages. You see how much time those save if you have these, these set up. So there are innumerable different possibilities on how you might want to, um, the options you might want to do or set, set these up in your own workflows. So this video is going to also show you how to set these up yourself. So it does assume you already know how to uh, create and edit your own toolbars. So just a reminder, you go into settings from any patient chart, edit custom forms because toolbars are a form of a custom form. I'm just going to bring up that toolbar here you can see this is the, the the toolbar you just saw all this stuff you you might recognize is just it's invisible uh that does not appear in the toolbar but that's your 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 menu of options to to use in creating a toolbar so let's say we wanted to create a uh, a message that that told our our front staff to um let a patient know that they're fit their fecal occult blood test was was due let's say you run across that in, in patients charts all the time and you you just want to send a quick message on that so a little reminder you can from this menu of options here is the send message button so it's already mainly pre-set up what you want to do is copy that so control c or you can actually go up here and say copy but control c that copies it and then you want to paste it with control v which you see it just made a duplicate right here. Drag that up. And the first thing you want to do is remember all of these items are invisible. So they don't appear in the actual toolbars. So this duplicate that we just made, we want to go down here and uh, make it visible. So this visible option and click that. So now that will be visible in the, um, in the toolbar. But we still have to set it up the way we want it. So the text, the title that appears on the button is very simple. So let's say 
um, you know, fit rec do in this example. That's just the title of what's going to actually appear on this button, not on the messages or anything. Now here's where it gets a little bit not intuitive. And there is a there is a bunch of these menu options that you can fill in to pre-populate who the recipient of the message is, the title of the message, and so forth. So I'm just going to bring in this PDF over here and uh, show you. So you'll recognize this is a screenshot of basically this. Okay. So I'm going to bring this up and, and keep it up here for us so people can you know, write this down quickly or take a screenshot or, or do notes. But the, 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 the item that says tooltip text, that is the subject line of your message. Okay. So the section ID will be the user initials or the recipient initials of who's going to receive this message. Down here, resource name is the body of the text. Um, it says you can also use a stamp if you want. So you can, that's where you can pre-type uh, even a pre-message. In the examples that I showed you earlier, you'll notice that they were more fill in the blank. If you're paying attention, I'll, um, most people wouldn't realize, but I'll just go back over here um, under the resource name. So say the bill fee one. If we look under resource name, there's just a period there. So you have, you, it won't allow you to just put a space for a blank or leave a blank. So you want to put a period there that allows you to just then type over uh, almost a fill in the blank type. So, but you can actually do the body of any text message to, or sorry, message. And then here the tab order one is the number of days until due. You'll notice that in my examples here, in say this Bill Fee one example, the tab order I've set to zero as in due today. Um, if you could set that to, you could set that to a one to be due tomorrow or a two to be due two days from now. So those are uh, options that you, you may want to use in your workflows. So going back here, knowing that we're going to create this one and you can change the, by the way, you can change the font and its size and aesthetics and the color and everything here. Um, but I'm just, I won't go into that in that video that you can change all these settings for colors and stuff. But so let's go through those things that we needed to change um, specifically. So the, this tooltip text is the title that will appear in the message. So maybe you just want to say tell patient fit is due. And then the section ID is the, is the user initial. So in this case, MF is our Madoc front staff user account. So that's, uh, I'm just going to set that there. Then the next one is resource name. So again, I'm going to, instead of text, you could, you could do a stamp or you could do it, but and here I'm going to say, please let patient know do for fit and please set them up with test. For example, this is just an example. Uh, and the tab order is the we're going to leave that at zero as in due today. So I'm going to save that. And then we're going to go back into the chart and refresh the chart. And we'll, that should appear. Yeah, you can see this new button that we just created here is now here. And if we click that, you'll notice it's sending a message to the Madoc front. And it's already pre-populated with that, that text that we had in there. Again, you could, you could uh, type over that if you want. But in this case, it's just a, a pretty standard message. So I just say enter or OK. And you'll notice that that message we just set up is all, again, send uh, recipient, title, message, all pre-populated. So again, just to demonstrate that, one click, enter, and you've got yourself a message already set up to the, to the staff on this. So, um, very quick, uh, quick messaging. Uh, we use this type of um, uh, feature in not just like so. This is this is from the doctor perspective. I've just shown you some some buttons and messages that would be common. But there's also we have a the staff might want to use their own messages. So we have buttons set up on the staff's toolbar to for prescription renewals that have each doctor. So if, if a doctor's covering 
you know, or sorry, a staff is covering three different doctors, they have each of those options um, and, and prescription renewals or, or contact questions all pre-set up as, as buttons on their toolbars. There's a demonstration video on my website here I won't go into now, but if you go into the EMR Consulting, the tools and packages, and then you'll see a, a demo video there. You can explore if that, if that interests you. But uh, that's it for now. Hopefully that helps.